In this video, I have to talk about track files and track any adjustments. That's a lot of you what you guys been doing before the physics editor came out. This was the only way to adjust the physics in game through the any files. However, here is the Bristol 1970, and let me quickly go through the files. We got 100 labs, blah blah blah, track grip, asphalt grip. You could figure all that out by yourself. But what we'll be looking at is AI track CTS since we're using the CTS physics. And there's quite a bit of few fields that we could play around with. Now I want to talk about them and how I set them up. We have uh, acceleration modifier, deceleration modifier, fuel use, grip modifier, drag modifier. All that is a relationship between how AI performs versus the player. If you set that value more than one, AI is going to perform better than your statistics. If you set it less, they're going to be weaker than you. But since we're only doing an offline league with AI only, we don't care about those values, but I always keep them at one anyway, so nothing offsets the AI performance, and most of those values I set to just 1.0. Uh, however, the other values, that is what's important. And here we got wall offset, drafting distance, squeeze percentage, and I'll talk more about the rest of them as we go. All right, and here I have sketched out a little diagram and paint um, with the values that we'll be working with. Never mind the grip modifier, just to show you that it's set at one to one one more time. What's really important is um, squeeze percentage, inline slip curve, and the rest of the values. As I said, the generic ones are all set to one to one, not to offset any AI performance. Now, squeeze percentage. I think that the natural value for it is zero. From what I heard and what I know, this is how much grip AI sees that it has and how much it could push the car faster without hitting the wall. Basically, how close to the wall can it get? And uh, if you set the value at 1, it would mean that it's about 100% more grip that the AI is feeling. At 0, it would actually see the exact grip that it has, so it will not do stupid things and hit the wall. Right here for the demo derby, just for testing purposes and to make them go crazy, we're testing squeeze percentage at 200%. So basically the car sees 200% more grip than it actually has because our cars are slower and the tires are still NASCAR 2003. Uh, maybe it does have more grip, so uh, maybe they're not going to hit the wall as much. We're going to see that during the race. Now AI sleep curve, that one is basically how much slippage AI needs. To corner playing around with this value makes them look like they're drifting into the corner and hopefully for the future dirt series we could play around and make them kind of look like they're drifting into it like in real life but we'll see about that now wall percentage basically this is ai collision detection at 100 it will record every single contact between ai if they crash too much you could set it lower but then you'll see ai merging into one another without hitting each other I always like to keep it at 100 just for the basic purposes. And, you know, to keep it realistic, every contact will get registered. Now, panic deceleration. Basically, AI has a panic line. When it sees trouble up ahead, it needs to judge how much trouble, how fast are the cars slowing down in front of it. And depending on that, it will either try to take evasive action or it's going to slam into the other car. And... Um, Basically, you can play around with that value to make it more aggressive, less aggressive, more cautious, less cautious, slamming each other more or less. Basically, that's what the panic deceleration value does. We have a set of two, um, definitely a value to play around with. Now come the most important values that make up the whole demolition derby for what it is. It's drafting distance and lateral distance. Basically, let me sketch out how it's going to look like in the AI mind. Usually the drafting distance is more than 1, the value would be something like 1.2, 1.3. What it means, it is 30% behind the rear bumper of the car, like it has one car and then some from the front to draft. Let me sketch it out a little bit, I have quite a bit of problem trying to pull out the ruler lines right now. But I guess I'm just going to have to use regular lines and kind of sketch it out for you guys. Yeah, this is what I have to do. Anyway, so the front of the car will line up like this. 
and this would be our mm, horizontal measurement and the vertical measurement would go like that that's what AI sees as numbers now what is 1.0 in terms of drafting 1.0 means it's one card distance like that if you have a value as I said at 1.1 that means that you're gonna have 10% of distance behind the car that's how the AI is gonna draft it's gonna leave 0.1 car in behind if you have a set at 1.0 that means that pretty much the chasers front bumper is gonna be at the rear bumper of the front car now for the demolition derby what I've set is the crazy value of 0.5 and that will bring the AI aim or kind of making the AI mind uh, acceptable to move on the fr front car for up to half the car in to make maneuvers or whatever so basically in the ai the target points that it's looking at let me sketch them out right there it's half a car in the front car it's pretty crazy nobody would race that way besides you know we're making a demolition derby event and i want to show you how it all works that's the purpose of this event now the lateral pad whatever that value is is how close they race from side to side in between each other basically if you set that value at zero that means that they're gonna touch the door panels and they're gonna go completely side to side side by side now the value that i've chosen is negative 0.5 and i'll show you in the ai mind how it's supposed to work now if you set that value to zero once again let me show that to you real quick. If you set that at zero, basically AI is going to think that it is acceptable to race the other car as close as I'm showing you right now on this page right here. Um, so with the drafting distance of 0 0.5 and lateral distance of negative 0 0.5, basically what you're going to see in the AI's head of acceptable manner of racing so to say would be basically it'll think that it can go into the front car halfway sideways and halfway towards so if i'm out to sketch out how it's gonna lay out for our demolition derby settings what you're gonna see is pretty much a car facing this way and halfway to the right that means what you see right now in this picture right here this is what's this acceptable driving manner for the ai chaser is to race the front car as hard or as forward as i marked it with the x right there um it's all going to be on the racetrack you're going to see what it is what's up with that i just wanted to cover the track files as it's a very important part of any type of series offline or online